May 28, 2021. Federal prosecutors in Brooklyn have been investigating whether several Ukrainian officials helped orchestrate a wide-ranging plan to meddle in the 2020 presidential election including using Rudy Giuliani to spread their misleading claims about President Biden to tilt the election in favor of Donald Trump. The investigation is unfolding separately from a long-running federal inquiry into Manhattan that is aimed at Mr. Giuliani. While the two investigations have a similar cast of characters and overlap in some ways, Mr. Giuliani is not a subject of the Brooklyn investigation. Syrian President Bashar Assad was re-elected in a landslide, officials said Thursday, ushering in a fourth seven-year term in a war-torn country following an election described as illegitimate and a sham by the West and his opposition. U.S. and European officials have also questioned the legitimacy of the election, saying it violates U.N. resolutions in place to resolve the conflict. They also added that it lacks any international monitoring and is unrepresentative of all Syrians. The top UN human rights body decided on Thursday to create an open-ended international investigation into Israel's treatment of Palestinians. This comes after UN rights chief said Israeli forces may have committed war crimes and faulted the Hamas terror group for violations of international law. The 24-9 vote with 14 absentations capped a special Human Rights Council session on the rights situation faced by Palestinians. Israel has rejected the resolution, saying it would not cooperate with such a probe. A southwestern Ohio woman won the state's first $1 million Vaximillion vaccination incentive prize, while a Dayton area teen was awarded the first full-ride college scholarship offered by the program. The winners were selected in a random drawing Monday and had all their information confirmed before the formal announcement at the end of the Ohio Lottery's Cash Explosion TV show. More than 2.7 million adults signed up for the $1 million prize, and more than 104,000 children ages 12 to 17 entered the drawing for the college scholarship. The Washington State Attorney General on Thursday charged two Tacoma police officers with murder and one with manslaughter in the death of Manuel Ellis, a black man who died after repeatedly telling them he couldn't breathe as he was being restrained. Attorney General Bob Ferguson filed charges of second-degree murder against Christopher Burbank and Matthew Collins, and first-degree manslaughter against Timothy Rakine. State legislators in New York are divided over the necessity of a proposed bill directing New York's Education Commissioner to conduct a thorough study that would help verify whether public school teachers are educating students about the Holocaust. The unusual dispute culminated on Monday in a virtual meeting of the State Assembly's Education Committee, a recording of which was obtained by the Jewish Insider when Chairman Michael Benedetto tried to block the seemingly uncontroversial bill from advancing to the floor.